All right, hi Luke. So, I mean, today I saw training. Denny Lewis was back, which was great to see. Uh, can you just give an update to fans of how he is after his injury on Tuesday night? Yeah, look, I don't know too much of the extent. I know there was a blood vessel that had sort of popped, hence why there was blood initially being brought up. Um, went for order of tests, was in hospital overnight, and um, thankfully he's all good. We had to monitor him yesterday, didn't train yesterday. Train fully today, and thankfully he's going to be fit and available for tomorrow. Yeah, well, another going on from that, the injuries we had a few on Tuesday. Well, how is the squad feeling? How how are they preparing for Saturday? Yeah, thankfully we got a couple back. Um, we got our assess two, so we're currently at sixteen at the minute, um, and we got our assess two in the morning. They'll have late fitness tests to see whether they'll be available for selection, and I'll have a headache, no doubt, come half one to drop two out of. The match day squad, but yeah, thankfully we've got a couple returning, including Denon. So yeah, we'll be going with a fully full 16, potentially more, dependent on the the fitness test tomorrow morning. Nice. Well, looking ahead to World Sam, we've got them twice now, back to back after the FA Cup draw. What do you expect from them? Obviously, a local team. So, but what are you expecting? You don't go to Solly on dominate possession and go towards shot and look very productive. Play at home against South End and have large portions of the game. They're a very good outfit. I think he's done a fantastic job being Stuart Maynard. Um, you can see the work on patterns, they work on their way of playing. Um, yeah, I don't think Charles is available for them. He's got a suspension being a yellow card. He's quite important to their way they're playing. I can imagine Dyer is going to go in there and sit alongside. Cook comes off on the 60th minute, whether that's tactical or there's an injury to that. But again, they're a very good outfit. They're good at what they do. They will cause you problems if you allow them to. We need to ensure that we stick to what we're doing and go about our business. I felt on Tuesday evening, we were productive early on in the game and didn't make our chances count. And I think that the discussions we've had today as a group, yesterday as a group, we know where we need to improve. And that's saying I'm looking forward to tomorrow playing against Wallstone, who I believe is gonna be a tough outfit against them at their place. Their fans have got right behind them and they're unforgiving at times when you walk off the pitch, they're after you, when you're playing the game, they're after you. So we need to go there and put on a polished performance and ensure we come away with a result. Yeah, well, obviously, um, how do you bounce back from that performance? Or, uh, sorry, not performance, but the result, once you said, wasn't the best result. So how, how does the team bounce back from that? Like we did against all the shot. So from the all the shot last, we went on an un unbeaten run in eight games. and. That's saying there's a rule of thumb in this division. You lose one game, you win the next two. You draw one, you win the next one. So let's hope we go and win on Saturday and follow that up with a, a victory in the FA Cup the following week. But for me, you're never too high. We was an eight unbeaten, you wouldn't know we was eight unbeaten. We lost on Tuesday night. Yes, there's disappointment, but you part that and move on. And that's saying that I think the group are doing, the staff are doing, and there's a positive energy around the place. Like you said, you watch training today. You can see how bubbly it is, how buoyant it is. And yeah, we're ready to go and put on a performance tomorrow and ensure that we can come away, away from Wallstone with three points. Yeah, and finally, earlier in the week, we saw the return of Bruno. I just want to know how, how did that come about and, and how's he settling in again? He's like a long lost figure at this place. He's always having conversations with myself, with the chairman, with the staff, and that's whether that was on his journey at Lincoln, then to Salford, and obviously Stevenage last year. We have had him in the building prior. Um, to this season about trying to do a deal and it come about that we all have good work, work, working relationships with each other. Yes, they leave the building like Kane Smith, I still talk to Kane Smith. Tyrone Marsh left the building 18 months ago to go to Stevenage and you still have conversations with him and then when it arises, they want to come back and that's the exact same scenario for Bruno Andrade. He come in the building for four or five weeks, has been training with us, it gave me an opportunity to have a look at him. It gave him an opportunity to look at us. And I honestly felt that he feels we're a good side, we're a good outfit, and he could potentially do something with us. Hence why we've done the deal with him. It's exciting to get him back in. Obviously for him, it was unfortunate that he didn't feature on Tuesday evening, but yeah, he might have a say tomorrow. He might go in and start, who knows? Depending on what team I select come 3 p.m. But he's coming in here to have a say. He's coming in here to perform and get back to playing his best football. And I think that under myself and his football club was probably the pinnacle of his performances. Yes, he's gone on an unbelievable career, whether that was with Lincoln and 
promotions and in with Salford, but if he was honest with himself, I think he'd probably played his best football under this football club, and that's the aim for us to get back to and getting Bruno to the peak of his performances for us to go and ensure we get the Bruno of old.